there was a narration or there is a narration of Aisha radiallahu anha reported by Ibn Majah as well as Al-Hakim and Al-Imam Ahmad. She says that there was a woman by the name of Khawla binti Thalaba who was married to a certain man and they had some children. She was married for quite a while. She became old and subhanallah gained a little bit of weight, perhaps no longer looking as young and pretty as she was the days she was married. And the husband refused to fulfill her conjugal rights. And the husband says, you know what? You just like my mother, you know, it sounds like a light statement, but wallahi in the eyes of Allah, it is a dangerous detrimental statement. It can actually destroy a marriage and it can destroy a person's link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You do not hurt the feelings of the vulnerable who live with you. Those who are weak, those whom perhaps are under your authority, those whom you are supposed to be looking after and you are silently harassing them. You are troubling them. You are uttering words to them that are hurtful. You don't know Allah is watching. Allah hears everything. So the lady comes to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and says, Oh messenger, this is what my husband said. I spent time with him, I sacrificed and so on. Now, no fulfillment of my conjugal rights. And he's saying, no, you're just like a mother. You can stay here and that's it. I won't touch you as such. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously revealed verses. But Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam heard the complaint and he wanted to give her some advice. And he tried his best to gain a little bit of time in order to try and explain to her what exactly or how exactly she should continue with the relationship and so on. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the opening verses of Surah Al-Mujadila. Al-Mujadila or Al-Mujadala, both are correct. Mujadila meaning the woman who came to you presenting her argument. And Al-Mujadala means the argument itself that was presented. What was the argument? We've just heard about it. To say, what should I do? This is a man. I'm neither married nor am I not married. He's just keeping me dangling and he's uttered the statement here. He doesn't want to fulfill my rights. I haven't done anything wrong. So Allah says, قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعُ تَحَاوْرَكُمَا Allah has heard the statement of the one who has come to you to present her argument complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah has heard the discussion between the two of you. And indeed, Allah is all hearing, all wise. Subhanallah. Allah is all watchful. Aisha radiallahu anha says, I could not hear what she said. But later on, we found out what happened because Allah revealed so many verses explaining that if a person utters this type of statement, they must pay a penalty. And that penalty is very severe. They should fast for 60 consecutive days unless they freed a slave or unless they have engaged in certain acts of worship in order to earn the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that is not just the oppression of an individual, but it is usurping the rights of that individual. And it is transgressing against the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you to look after those who are under your authority, starting with your own spouses and your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the best of husbands and may he make us the best of wives. Wallahi, that comes but with a struggle. There is an effort required. Without an effort, you will not be able to be the best man or the best woman to your own spouse. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding.